Rule 10. Be precise in your speech. It's like, whew. Boy, do I need some work on this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I go all around my thoughts sometimes just get and it's hard to get it out and again like just these three rules back to back be tell the truth right Boom. You know, listen to the person that you're having a conversation with Boom. I mean if you do that technique you listen now you're going to say back to them what they're trying to say to you like you got to be precise yep. sometimes it helps to be even more precise and identify what they're saying when you re make that reply back, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sometimes you clarify their thoughts for them. Yeah, this is true. You know? And uh, sometimes but, you're gonna have to tell the truth and you're gonna have to be precise in right? your truth. And sometimes when you can't tell the truth to a person and you don't wanna lie to them, you gotta be very precise about what you're saying. Mm -hmm. To the point where it's like, I'm not going to tell you the truth because that's going to hurt you. Yet I'm not going to sit here and lie about it and tell you that it's okay. You can handle the truth. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that's crazy. But yeah. Sometimes but, it's hard to handle the truth. Right. Um, I guess he's got one of these things too here, right? When one of the quotes, like when things collapse around us, our mm -hmm. perception disappears and we act. Right. Ancient reflective responses rendered automatic like that's the kind of stuff that happens like everything's collapsing around you and you know in that moment when you're when you got to tell the truth right and then everything starts collapsing your instinctive response right is to just either lie right? yep. just a blatantly lie about it or come into effect like make up something or yeah but that's that's kind of where you got to rise above it a little bit right you think about the conversation and just be precise and that'll help you through that situation for sure. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, um, I think it comes from the Navy SEALs where they talk about um, you don't rise to your expectations, you default to your training. That's true. So, and that's, the, that's why they talk about, like, we're always hammering these situations. We're going through these different scenarios. We're doing this stuff. Because when it comes time for this shit, when the shit hits the fan, when, when um, everything collapses around us, yeah. They default back to that their that behavior that they have innately trained in them. Of course, you know, and yeah. that's the kind of thing too about being precise in your speech. Like the more you practice it, the better you get at it. Right. And even the more if you're you telling the truth to you yourself and to those around you. Yeah. And 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 then you you know. But, you, but even then, like to to be truthful about something, right? Like, and if you want to be truthful about something, you got to be precise about that, right? You. Like you're going to get on the scale and be like, oh, I'm a little overweight. Like, I think you should be more precise in your words. What does that mean? You're a little overweight. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you've got to go back to rule two. You got to eat that fruit and be like, I'm going to say, where? Listen, I'm 33.74 pounds overweight. I got to yeah, get but, that off. I got to get a plan. It's like uh, out there. It's like, you know, when you're going to be precise about something that's, that's bringing to effect. Like, Things about being precise and, and being in general, like the more precise about something that you can be, the more change you can affect on that one item. Yes. Uh, right? You gain that clarity. You know, again, like that's the kind of things in this book. Like he's talking about speech in this thing, but he's not just talking about speech. No. He's talking about everything in your life. Use precision. Yeah. Say what you mean. You know what I mean? Like be who you say you're going to be. Like, be precise in everything. Mm -hmm. You know, speech is a good way to start with that for sure. And and but, that's kind of been uh, our little running joke the past couple of weeks. It's like, what are you saying, Tyson? Be precise in your speech. <laughs> but it's like, you know what? I've got to focus my thoughts. I can't go like this in my brain and that can't come out of my mouth the way it's going in my head. Right. I got to stop and I got to say, okay, wait, listen, let's put all these together. What am I trying to say? Right. I mean, like we were effectively communicate that right i remember when i was trying to get you to do shorter episodes and you were mm -hmm. like no 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 man like i don't want to put a time limit on things yeah right you're like right. No, i don't i don't want to put a time limit on things i just kind of want to let them go and then i turned it around on you right i was like okay tyson let's look you're gonna make a two-hour episode right yeah like what can people do with two hours right you know 
And that's when I got you to be precise and be like, okay, why don't we think of time as being limitless? Mm -hmm. Yet we're going to take an hour out of somebody's time. Why don't you give them the most value with that hour? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what did that, that been on for you, right? Yeah. It was, yeah. It was, it was, a, it was a great, and it's a thing I didn't feel like, walled in by this constraint all of a sudden like oh i can only do this in an hour what in turn what well, at least what i what i took from it was okay if i need to distill this two hour meandering conversation down to an hour i've got to become clear and concise and precise in my thinking my speaking and my thoughts my preparation everything has to clean up and if at the worst an exercise and, and, and that was, and it was profound. And right. I, and, and that's when go back to rule two or was it three? I have good people around me say, listen, clean up your speech. I'm like, no, I don't. Okay. Let me, let me at least attempt that. And I, and it's, it's helped me not just here, but all, all around other things I start to think about. How can I be precise? Why am I taking this amount of time? How can I be more efficient and effective in this manner? That's the other thing too. If you're going to be precise, you got to be efficient. Right. You have so many words in the, in, in the human language, like pick and choose your words wisely. Right. We only have about 5,000, they say on hand of well, us to choose from. That's not much, you know, but I know some people that choose to use a four letter word that begins with F a lot. Ain't that some motherfucking bullshit. <laughs> right. It definitely shows the diversity of the word. <laughs> oh, man. I love that video. That, oh, man, it's a noun, a pronoun. I had to Google some of those words, but, oh, man. You know, but on the other hand, right, the more words you have to mm -hmm. your repertoire, right, the more precise you can be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Use these tools. Like, that's going to help you be a better person, too. So that helps me be a better person. It's like, how can I find the right word for this? How can yes. I say exactly what I need to say in the best way? Sometimes I have that little, uh, what's that, old school Will Ferrell moment. I say a couple of words. I'm like, yeah. oh. whoa, <laughs> whoa, what did I just say? What? I don't even know what, what that even what means. Happened? What time is it? <laughs> yeah. Like, I was on this word juxtapose. It was in this book like 87,000 times. And I just was like, you know, these are juxtaposed. And I'm like, the fuck does that actually mean i had to go <laughs> like three times to really get it in my head yeah no that's good um one of the stories i like in this chapter even though i think it's more related to the previous chapters but they all kind of mesh together yeah the story of the dragon in the house dude i, oh. love, that I love that story I that's a, oh, that's, that was a fun story why don't you share that story dude i like that story oh yeah that's good so what is something up um I guess it's an old actual like fairy tale or something like that or whatever he says. Um, but anyway, it's like little boy's got this little, little dragon that kind of pops up on his bed or something along those lines. And he's like, mom, there's a dragon. And mom's like, no such thing as dragons. It's like, <laughs> okay. You go around and he's like, and then the dragon starts to get a little bigger. And he's like, mom, you see the dragon now? It's like, there's no such thing as dragons. And soon enough, the dragon is, is filled the entire house. The mom's trying to vacuum and she's got to go in and out the windows and up and down. It takes her twice as long to vacuum, but she still won't acknowledge the dragon. And so the dragon gets bigger. <laughs> and then, and then the house floats away. And the dad comes home from work. He's like, where's my house? And that man's like, it went that way. So then the, it, he's got to go, the dad's got to go track down the house now. And then the, and then the dad gets home and then the boy's like, mom, this dragon. She's like, there's no dragon. <laughs> And he's like, and then he's finally he's like, Mom, there's a dragon. And she's like, okay. And then the dragon shrinks. The, mom, the mom's like, why did the dragon just shrink like that? He's like, I think he just wants to be acknowledged. Yeah. It's like, what are we avoiding? What are we sweeping under the rug? <laughs> don't want to deal with it. Yeah. That Even the works. dragon. Yeah. And, and again, like, I problems. love these stories because like, he's not, you know, these stories are great, like analogy, yeah. metaphors, like for so many things. And that's the thing I learned about this book that was 
pleasantly surprising. When I first started reading this religious stuff, I'm like, oh, please don't be about this. I had high hopes for this book. <laughs> but then it, it's like, right. he's like, using an example, right? Yeah, it's like these stories, like, listen, known. these were, these are stories to teach lessons a long time ago. Like there's something in here. If you read about it, you think about it, there's something here. And it's like, it's, it, it's, it's the power of the story and the storytelling, it really came out more to me in this book than I ever really gave credit to for a good story. And I, I think he, he utilizes his own rule about be precise in your speech by using these stories. You know, mm -hmm. it's, like, it's a creative way. I mean, yeah, sure, he's talking about something else. Yeah. But it's a creative way to, like, turn the light on, you know. It's a creative way to say things that people are receptive to, mm -hmm. you know, instead of just being, oh, wait, 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 I can't listen to this story. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. And it, start talking about lobsters, people like start reading. Yeah, it's like, oh, lobsters. Oh, that's interesting. So start talking about people who have problems and don't want to admit it. Like, they don't want to, they don't want to read that story. Right. Or, and then you're not telling yourself the truth. You're like, this, this isn't about me. I, this, I know people like that, but it's not me. Yeah, but Wait, but anyway, more. but I, I'm just saying though, like it's 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 a good way to do it, you know. And then he's got that whole at the end. And for me, it's just like I just like the title, of the last section here. Oh, half. You know, just that name. Like I don't, I don't know if you're watching this and any of you have actually seen wheat, but you know, wheat from chaff. Like there's this big ball. I mean, it's not this big, but it's maybe like like this yeah. small on the tip of the wheat and that's what's called the chaff and inside the chaff you got to break through that it's like a husk you mm -hmm. got to break through and then there's wheat on the inside and then th that little wheat on the inside is what you use to make bread but you know that's just the whole thing is like if you're precise right you need such precision to break that chaff to separate chaff from wheat mm -hmm. like that precision is what allows us to have and harness the power of wheat. Like just that analogy there. It was, yeah. it was like a deeper meaning just to that name, just to the title of that. It's kind of crazy. You know, like being precise, like in anything you do, it's just a tool on how to help you get up to the next level. Yeah, if you go at that wheat like a Neanderthal, you don't yeah. have that wheat. Yeah, you grab a rock, you crush right. it, you break it open, you get parts mm. of the chaff in there, and then all of a sudden you eat the bread. It's like, right. oh, chaff in there. Yeah, tearing up your guts and stuff. Yeah, but it, you know, it's, it's just that's cool. But I, you know, he's got that saying in there, right? Like I, we got these quotes, right? Say what you mean, then pay attention. Note your errors, articulate them, strive to correct them. That is how you discover the meaning of life. Like, exactly. Oh, this guy is deep. It is. He's like deep with that, dude. It is. But you got to go back to the other rules to get here. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, even if you read this rule alone. Like, you and just you just go that. after that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's so many points in this book when he does exactly that. Just like you read it and you're like, you're like, damn. And that's the thing, when you listen to the audio version, you can just, I mean, there's part, parts in there you can hear him crying and, and, and getting, getting animated in front of him. He brings so much to this story. Like, he's so invested in these things. You can just feel it to, like, just cheer, like, your core. <laughs> All right. <laughs>